In this video, I'm gonna give you my top six snacks at Universal's Islands of Adventure. Ribs, top six, party time, excellence. <laughs> But before I narrow it down to just the top six, I have to show you each snack location and what they offer. Now for the purposes of this video, we are only considering snack locations that one, do not have their own kitchen, and two, serve more than churros, chips, and popcorn. For example, here in Marvel, Interplanetary Popcorn mainly has popcorn, churros, and chips also a pretzel but it's not a fancy pretzel so i guess you could say we're looking for elevated snacks like the ones offered at the daily bugle snacks and drinks they offer a footlong hot dog a chili cheese dog a potato knish and a fancy pretzel the bavarian pretzel will any of those make my list of rick's top six snacks watch to the end of the video and find out here we can find chips, churros, and fruit. Disqualified. But at the edge of Marvel, the Lemon Slush offers an elevated pretzel, a pizza stuffed pretzel. So now you guys see what we're doing. We're not doing table service restaurants. We're not doing counter service restaurants. Rather, these little snack kiosks located throughout the park. And now that we're done with Marvel, Let's see what, if anything, Toon Lagoon offers in the way of snacks. Ale to the Chief offers a foot-long corn dog and pizza. Not very elevated in my opinion. Toon Lagoon does offer a lot of food, but not many snack locations. Other than Ale to the Chief, there's just this little popcorn stand. And Frostbite Freezes, which also offers a foot-long corn dog. Now this is what I'm talking about. The canteen here in Skull Island, it offers more elevated snacks. Such as the pizza skulls and the Kong dog, which is on a pretzel bun. Moving into the Jurassic Park area of the theme park, and just like this gal, we are on the hunt for snacks. Bone Chillin' offers turkey legs, a classic theme park snack. It's not elevated, but we will consider it for the top six. But there is something working against the turkey leg. It's $15.99. I was hoping to keep any item on my top six under $15, because even at a theme park, above $15, can we really consider that a snack? I mean, we're getting into entree pricing at that point. Natural Selections, on the other hand, has some good snacks for under $15. The Papa Rilena, probably said that wrong, for $6.99. The Beef Empanadas for $7.99. A Guava Cheese Pastry for $6.69. And an African Lentil and Potato Sambasa Coffin for $8.99. Now, one of those items will make my top six snacks list at the request of my wife, Nikki. Find out which one at the end of the video. The Pizza Predatoria has its own kitchen, thereby disqualifying it from today's video. Now every so often we will run across one of these temporary food kiosks. This has a corn dog, a regular sized corn dog, and chicken empanadas. But I'm hesitant to show you these because they may not be at these locations when you visit. Those food carts have wheels on them. They can move those around anywhere they want to. As we exit Jurassic Park, another popcorn stand, they do offer the turkey leg though. That turkey leg is going to be at many locations. I'm not going to show you everywhere the turkey leg is. Into Hogsmeade now, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I don't think they have a lot of snack locations. Butterbeer locations, yes. Snack locations, I don't think so, but we're going to double check for you. Well, here's something. The Magic Neep. It offers the Shepherd's Pasty Pie. Along with fruit, churros, and pretzels, but we're most interested in that pasty. Here in the Lost Continent, I am so tempted to include delicious kebabs, but it breaks the rules. It has its own kitchen, but I am so tempted to break the rules for these kebabs. 
The beef kebab combo is $15.99. So that breaks another rule. But the other stuff on the menu is below that price point. So, oh, I don't know what to do. The only other place to consider here in the Lost Continent is across from the Treasures of Poseidon. This little snack stand here. But again, it's just like popcorns and pretzels and chips. By the way, if you try to use the app, for snacks and beverages. None of the places I'm showing you are listed in the app. I wanted to check the app for the Kong dog because I'm afraid of the pricing, like it might break one of my rules, but it's, you can't find that on the app, so not not ooh, not that I'm saying it's gonna make Rick's top six. I'm not saying that yet. I don't wanna spoil the ending, <laughs> but I can't find it on the app. Into Seuss Landing we go. After this, I will reveal my top six snacks at Islands of Adventure. Nothing special at Moose Juice, Goose Juice, Chips, Corn Dogs, Churros, the usual suspects. Well, you would think a place called Snack Snack Eat a Snack would be exactly what we're looking for, but no. Again, just the usual suspects, Chips, Pretzels, Churros. Green Eggs and Ham. Now, personally, I do Consider this to be more snack type food, but it does have its own kitchen. So under the rules we're operating under today, we have to exclude anything here at Green Eggs and Ham. As we get close to the port of entry again, it does have a lemon slush, but it doesn't have that fancy pizza stuffed pretzel like the one in Marvel. So I've been sitting here for a while, considering everything, including breaking the rules. But I now have my top six snacks at Universal's Islands of Adventure. They are, in no particular order, the Kong Dog, the Shepherd's Plastic Eye, the Papa Riena, the Beef Empanadas, the Bavarian Pretzel, and the Pizza Stuff Pretzel. I do have an honorable mention. That would be the Beef Kebabs, but they break the rules. Now, let's go get one. I decided to go with the Kong Dog for $13.49. I was in the mood for pretzel. I thought I would get one of those pretzels, the Bavarian, or maybe the pizza stuff pretzel, but then I'm like, the Kong Dog comes on a pretzel bun. It's the best of both worlds. And I think I'm gonna get a little fancy with the spicy brown mustard this time. Now this does come served with cheese sauce and relish, but I declined both of those. I would consider this the most hearty of all the snacks. In fact, I would say it's shareable. Cut it in half, especially if you have someone in your party who wants to put ketchup on it. Oh my goodness. Cut it in half and let them do what they will with their half. All done with my Kong dog. That was phenomenal. And I think because it's on a pretzel bun, that spicy brown mustard really hit. I recommend you do it that way. And whether you eat all of it or half of it, that is enough to get you to your next real meal. So the next time you're at Islands of Adventure, you know what quick snacks to enjoy. And speaking of enjoying things, enjoy this video next. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun, enjoy it.